don't know what it is about this little stretch, but Shangri-La always comes into my mind when I, I stand here on the bridge and, and look at it. It could be anywhere, couldn't it? You could just imagine Humphrey Bogart, uh, Catherine Hepburn, coming round the bend down the bottom there, you know, and the African Queen. <laughs> Looking down towards the old bus terminus. Labour exchange on the right, the old one. And this is the old fire station. A few vandals been uh, taking it out on this poor yellow bin. Mind you, there is a shortage of uh, dustbins around the area I can still remember this being in use when the old Dennis fire engines there with the noses proudly sticking out the boys used to keep them in pristine condition looks like it could do with a bit of a again a lick of paint it's not as if paint costs a fortune is it there are plenty of lazy devils round that could be uh, taught how to decorate and paint what have you that three-story building is where the old uh, citizens advice was I think you could just make out where the uh, the wording was on the front there, unless my eyes are deceiving me. Go in there with your, your what was it, UB40, wasn't it? Named the pop group after that, didn't they? UB40. Report to one desk for uh, sign on. And then it was okay. Go around the other side, and then they give you, take you through five or six jobs. Yeah, go and see them. You know, no choice then. Get yourself out. Go and uh, get to go see them. You weren't on door long. I'll tell you that. Just on the left there, that was uh, there was a white wooden bungalow there. And behind that was Chester Engineering uh, supplies, car parts, etc. And uh, newspaper people it used to supply the newspaper shops with uh, the papers and that. Just behind that blue container, we used to go in a door there into the Labour Exchange. I forget what day it was now, probably a Thursday or something like that. <clears throat> just recently used this open ground on the right to uh, used it as a storage and a working out of depot to put the flood defences in they were going to build flats on it but that seems to have uh, disappeared Well, straight ahead there, years ago, was uh, a cafe that used to serve people waiting for the buses on the bus station, which is, well, was there, where it's just come into view. It's time to get rid of that building and uh, put it back into that job, I think, get it away from the traffic on uh, Watling Street.
still see all the ramps where I used to go to, to wait and the, the green double deckers. didn't mess about yet to get your bus. Last bus was about 10 o'clock I think. £99 plus VAT. VAT on talking. Hmm. Used to be the Salt Compensation Board building that did. This used to be Norvik as I remember. And just behind it is the Kitty Oaks Dancing School, where you used to go and practice knotting your legs. <laughs> I don't think I ever went, not to that one. This has always been a notice board display here, as far as I can remember. Greeny amongst the chaos. Just across the road there was a was a graveyard which they uh, dug up some years ago and moved all the gravestones etc. There's a war memorial in there at the moment which is uh, still there. And the old Burgess Brothers building as you can see it was a motorcycle shop they've now moved up to uh, where Harrington's caravans was Harrington's have gone another old name gone and forgotten and we're panning round just about where the bus shelter is was Cinema 2 of the Regal and just behind it of course the main old cinema Cinema 1 now a glorious car park for Waitrose. On the right there is the new Labour Exchange. Pristine hardly used. Down looking towards Dane Bridge which is uh, where we started on in video one. A stone mason on the right there. That's also the site of the old theatre. You'll remember it stuck way up in the air. I don't think it ever actually got finished. When I was a kid, we used to go in there and uh, have a faff about. Climb that tower at least, I remember doing that. This has been it a few times. Apparently this was done by a police car, somebody come through the lights, which they do on a regular basis, shooting the lights on red. I've seen uh, at least one, I think it is, smashed up, oh for a couple of seconds, get somewhere in a hurry. That's the old pub, it was nice no, chemist now, but it was the brass rods, if I remember rightly. The new medical centre, well, newish. Just undergoing some updates. There's a war memorial there. Somebody managed to knock those uh, sandstone. You see the one on the right looks new. Somebody managed to knock that over in a car. How the devil they did that, I don't know. That's down towards Drill Field where the football ground used to be, the oldest in England, which they tore down to build uh, houses on. Queen Street just on the left by the grey building. Some work going on up there, haven't they? Look at the stonework up there. Must be hundred. 50 ton up there. Must have lifted it in by crane. If 
I've got this some uh, I want to knock the old Burgess Brothers building down and put some uh, one of these cheap shops in I don't know, can't remember what the name was now but apparently that's getting knocked down I thought Waitrose would have uh, had it for unloading wagons as it is they pull up on the road on the yellow lines and then go and find somebody and then everybody has to stop while they back it in that little yard just all been painted up that black and white place and Queen Street shot back inside sir I'm doing a voiceover now because the traffic noise is so loud Ford did own them but I think they've sold it off now. These are the new flood defence walls which have been put in. Somebody today said something about um, the riverbanks give up and seen it on the news but I've not seen anything myself. Whether it's just uh, one of these hoax stories. Apparently you see the gate there at the back just behind that car I think it falls falls out and then uh, got rubber seals on the bottom I don't think it'd seal it completely it's just uh, you know I think they can expect a bit of a leak but just holds it back and that's the Ayers Bridge the Ayers Bridge was actually the first of the two bridges to go in unlike the Plaxas on Town Bridge which I've probably mentioned before in <coughs> other videos Nice little marina there, bit of a place you could sit down here just to the left of these cars, which was the old uh, repair yards for uh, British waterways. There was a shed there that used to uh, haul the boat, well the barges out, just to the right of those barges there, big blue shed there was. and. Uh, used to haul them out and repair them there Builders yard there, a council yard where you used to go, where the men used to go and get all the bits when they were repair, repairing the council houses, etc. Like the stores and stuff like that. Some good fishing there, apparently. That's the uh, where the where North, which got its Roman name from, where the Dane comes in just from the right there. We're now crossed over Hayhurst Bridge. That's a well-known uh, landmark. The clock's even right sometimes. There's some sort of new restaurant or something open just around here because I've seen uh, a report from a friend who's supposed to be uh, having a meal. I don't know what it's in that building, I'm not sure. Navigation Road there where those houses are. You should go down to uh, Yarwood Shipyard and so forth. steps that go up to the church and Castle Hill
plenty of pictures in the Northwich archives about that. This fencing in the foreground there is been it more times. <laughs> oh dear. It's always bent and falling over. I think they give up now and they don't even bother replacing it. Totally rubbish design. And the inevitable um, backlog of cars. Just not working. It seems especially bad on a Friday, I don't know why. I've been out today, it's a chocker on the left where those buildings are, that was where the Lucas garage was and down here on the right was uh, the old theatre and as I say the builder's yard I think it was Whitehead or something like that and the council yard were there just this side the older building on the right I think that's where the theatre was and it used to be a, a, where this road sign is on the right there was a, a hoarding that used to advertise what was on at the Regal Verdin Park up on the hill we'll be having a look round there shortly with a video camera get away from this noise for a while The gates are away for repair. Not done bad, they've probably been up 100 years or so. These are now retirement flats. And here we are, nearly near at the end now. And small park I think this is kept like this so if they ever have to lift the bridge off again they've got somewhere for it to go that's where it went last time <laughs> 